Inside this government building in Ouagadougou, men from all walks of life enroll in Burkina Faso's latest volunteer program. The nation grappling with a jihadist insurgency which has continually extended its deadly grip called for civilian backup in October. Considering what is happening in my nation, we have lost our land. As a butcher, I have made many trips in the past, but I can no longer travel. And I have lost many friends too. I have friends who used to pan for gold in the bush further east. All of them have returned to Bagadugu, and others are dead. When I speak, I feel like crying even. I am ready to die for my country. Burkina Faso launched a draft to recruit 50,000 civilian defense volunteers, among them volunteers for the defense of the homeland. These men and women are on a mission to protect the people and property of their localities of origin alongside the defense and security forces. We women have our own strategies. It is like a family. The nation is your home, it is your house. How can you make your house, your home, successful? We mustn't expose our strategies or people will exploit them. We have our strategies. The men also have their strategies. We are all here to defeat terrorism. Jihadi violence has killed thousands of people since 2015. The last elected president was deposed after he faced a wave of anger over the insurgency. According to this professor, the army is adjusting tactics to swell its ranks. The reality of the country is that the army and other security and defense forces are not able to cover the entire territory. So when we look at it, there is a networking problem. That means that there are swathes of territory that are not covered by the defense and security forces. So recruiting 50,000 volunteers means hoping to get a few additional fighting forces. Enlistment officially ended on November 18 and more than 30,000 people registered aged 18 to 77, according to government data. The volunteers received civic and military training before being armed and provided with means of communication.